Hi, Rachel here, astrologer and psychic. I am really compelled to reach out and let you know that I do offer relationship readings. Now, a full disclaimer, I've been offering these and doing them for the past four and a half years and I have advertised them once, <laughs> Valentine's Day, two years ago. Now, many of you who know me and trust me from other online spaces have reached out and asked for these readings privately and you can come alone or with your partner. Um, but yeah, I feel at this time to let you know a little bit more about what will happen if you come for a relationship reading. So a few things to let you know. You can come alone or with a partner. You might want to be working through things um, that you're sensing or feeling and need some deeper clarity and articulation around what the nature of the challenges are that you're facing together or individually. Um, one request I have is that if you book a reading that's a relationship reading, don't try and bundle anything else with that because a relationship reading is quite involved and I will call up a few different charts. So where you may book a reading where you've got life and business stuff coming up at the same time and that's fine because it all kind of comes in a bundle if it's a relationship reading let's just focus on that because there will be enough to delve into there always is particularly when you've got two people's charts um as with all my readings it's conducted over zoom so you get to see your charts on screen um ask me anything and i will answer based on what i'm showing you on the charts and i will move my mouse around so you can see what's going on and then it's recorded so you can watch back, delve into it further, do a deep dive afterwards to help make sense. Um, and a couple of things about the actual reading and how it works. So, synastry, you may know this already but if you don't, worth repeating. Synastry is where you have an overlay of one person's chart on the other. So person A is like on the inside of the chart and then we overlay that with person B's uh, energies and planets and which houses and everything that they fall in on the outside. So you can basically see how person B is impacting person A. So if person B's moon is in person A's fourth house, that person will feel like home. Their emotions will feel very homely to person A. However, if we put person B on the inside and then look at person A, we're then looking at how all of their planets in all of the signs in all of the houses impact person B. B. Now there's a lot to this and it can be very different how you're impacting each other. Um, so it's basically showing where you're putting your energy into another person's life. However, we then look at the composite chart and the composite chart is the third energy that is created by the relationship. So the composite is the relationship itself. You've got person A, person B, and then C is the composite. Now, this tends to play out over time. So by looking at the composite, you are looking at, has this got legs? What is the future of it? And it's very clear. The indicators are very clear. Why am I telling you this? Well, um, for consciously awakened people, you are probably not going to want to waste your time in relationships that have a composite that is not in your future vision. Let's just be frank about it, you're not. So whilst the synastry, uh, the immediate how you feel when you meet somebody, that is going to be like really obvious and you're going, going to feel that quite soon. The composite will show how it plays out 
very good time and it's really worth having the heads up. Also, if you've been in a relationship for a while, it may be that the composite chart is playing out. The other interesting thing to notice is person A has the relationship with the relationship. So this is like A to C now, okay? Person A has a relationship with the composite chart. Person B has a relationship with composite chart, with the energy of the relationship. Often these are entirely different experiences. Now I can just see this and speak to it and work it out in an instant. Um, so it's really worth having this kind of information at your disposal. So thank you for listening to that. If you would like to book, um, just choose the time. You can either book a 60 minute, 90 minute, 120 minute reading. Uh, go to the link below. Any questions, just reach out and ask me. Thank you for listening.